Hi, my name's James and today we're going to be talking about doing jumps on your downhill bike. Uh, this is a pretty key feature. Firstly, you do it for fun. It is great fun when you've learned the right techniques and you're, you know, you're really capable of doing big jumps. It's great fun. And second, you're going to be doing it in races. Uh, there's three key aspects to jumping your downhill mountain bike. First one's mindset. Second one is knowing your skill level and capability. And the third one is speed. The thing you have to do when you're facing a couple of jumps, like these ones here at Hopton, is you have to assess and walk the track before you do them. For example, this one here, this is more of, of a ski jump style jump. So you'll take off from this landing here, and you will land on this dip here. And you have to make sure that you clear it fully, otherwise you're going to be going over the bars or having a nasty crash. So, moving further down the track. We have uh, this double here. Uh, it's a classic, it's been known on the Piers series for years. But again, another key aspect for this is making sure that you know your line, you've walked it, you've checked it. Um, you can have the right speed off this first jump to clear this one. Um, it's all about carrying speed and momentum. So you take off from this, this is called the lip here, and you will land on the down slope of this jump, and just landing here. It's, uh, it's a decent size gap. Um, you'll be doing this on the race scene, which is held by Piers here, or we'll be doing it on an uplift day for fun. Okay, so now we've uh, moved up to the skill section. Um, with this, you need to remember uh, three things. You need to remember how to bunny hop, uh, you need to remember how to pop the jump, and you need to remember your speed as well. So when you come up the lip like this, you need to be pushing into your forks on this little bit of a bowl of the front just so you can get that pop and snap. So you need to keep your, uh, your foot parallel to the pedal so it's lying straight. And when you're coming up the jump like this, you need to be lifting your front end up but still remaining your still keeping the back planted and when you're up here you need to get the pop on it so you're lifting your back end up and then you're going to be in the air and you're going to have to keep your bike stable and you're going to have to land on the other side of the jump um, it's really important that you do know how to bunny hop before you uh, ride some jumps otherwise you won't be getting enough air time to actually clear the jump itself body position wise you need to keep you need to keep your arms bent, you need to keep your legs bent and make sure you balance yourself with your hips like this so you're not going either side um, and apart from that if you do that, all, all those tips you'll be flying over jumps next to no time so as I was saying earlier it's really important to make sure that you're in the right frame of mind to, com to commit yourself to do a jump when you're at the top of the track you need to be focused on the task ahead what you need to be doing, you need to work through your mind what you're going to be doing at each phase in the track. For example, where are you are going to be pedaling before you jump? Are you going to be braking? Are you going to need to be cornering? Are you going to be careful that you might have less grip or more grip running up to the jump? And when you're going into jump, you need to remember to stay focused and commit to it. So when you're taking off, you've got, you've got all your confidence behind you and you make sure you're going to clear that jump. So, now we're going to be talking about speed and pace into a jump. As you can see, I was just coming in pretty fast and I made sure I had enough speed to be able to clear the jump. Again, I looked at my line coming into it. I knew I needed to pedal before it so I can get over, get over certain obstacles. For example, with a little roller jumps coming into it, which you can pump. Um, and again, Coming into it, there is a little jump before it, so I just remembered that I needed to brake. And these are all things that you have to assess before you go into the jump. You don't want to go into it too fast, or you're going to completely overcook it and uh, miss the landing. You need to get that balance between going too fast and you're not going fast enough. You need to get the in-between, so you make sure you've hit it at the correct speed for the jump, and that you're going to be clearing it and landing it on the landing. Nice.